Welcome to episode number 28 of the Friday Fizz. Today we're going to talk about Google investing in the UK, we're going to talk about Snapchat's IPO, and we're going to talk about bullshit bingo. Home sweet home. Don't forget, we now run a weekly bullshit bingo competition. Um, last week nobody won, because we had a cheat in the mix. So that ruined that for everybody, thanks. <laughs> You've only yourselves to blame that nobody won that champagne. Um, so this week we've got another um, bullshit bingo campaign. Please try not to tell people what the answer is this time. I didn't. Everyone else, there was a you lot of You gave a clue though, didn't you? Yeah. Shame. I've put my foot down. We won't have cheats. This is not how we operate at Plus 24. It's now a sackable offence, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, this week, look out, watch the whole thing and tell us what word you think was our bullshit bingo this week. Cool. So NHS emails, this one's an interesting one. Uh, well, let's start with some stats. Unthinkable. Someone sent out a test email from the NHS's IT department that went to 1.2 million people. Um, and because everyone likes clicking reply to all, it generated 186 million emails, which crashed the whole NHS network. So, some guy in the IT department of the NHS, some guy who was in the IT department of the NHS, <laughs> sent out accidentally sent. <laughs> wow! Tear on his face. Wow! <laughs> Brilliant. You please keep that in. So, so, so I'm going to carry on whilst you're. Uh, so, oh my God! What the fuck? <laughs> Let's keep rolling. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. So anyway, so yeah, some some guy who was in the IT department in the NHS um, pressed send on a, a test email, which carbon copied. What? How many? One point two million. You still need to wipe your face. <laughs> One point two million people. Can you imagine sending an email and copying one point two million email? I mean, I don't know what it was on the content, but anyway. So of course you had however many people reply to all, which ultimately ended up sending how many emails? 186 million. 186 million emails sent from this one guy who I presume is now no longer in a job and looking <laughs> looking for new roles. Um, <laughs> yeah. The worst reference in history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I took well, down the whole of the NHS yeah. system. It is fairly insane. NHS sort it out. Snapchat, big news. Has it been listed now, or is it? They've I'm filed for it, I think. Mm. File, oh, oh file, you have to file for it, for it, do you? Yeah, for the IPO. I thought it was just a for sale sign outside and wanted yeah, to see what happened. <laughs> see who turns up with a bit. Yeah, exactly, no. yeah. No. I'm getting a really good feeling about I am, this. I'm so glad. You give us I, that uh, 10 year interest only loan, I think we got a deal. Hey, fuckers! Welcome to the neighborhood! My name is Craig. What was the value? Uh, $25 billion. I'm pretty sure that's gone up like $6 billion since I last heard. $25 billion and Facebook offered to buy it for how much when? Was it three? Three, three, three billion. billion dollars a few years ago. Yeah, a few so. years ago. So well done Snapchat for, uh, for holding out on that. Except they've probably listed it now because they know that Facebook's going to obliterate them over the next 12 months. So they'll have no business in 12 months. Um, interesting. Did they give a reason for going... IPO, is it just because the owners want a bit of a payout now, or...? I don't know, no, I, I don't actually know, I guess it's growth, growth yeah. ambitions with yeah. with the spectacles and all that kind of stuff, yeah. you know, how it could boost them up to the next level. But. Yeah, I mean, it, the thing is, they've got, they've got a battle on their hands now, aren't mm. they? It's like, it's literally, with Facebook updating Instagram and... Um, Messenger, Messenger, WhatsApp, every, everything, Facebook have got them all lined up pretty much, haven't they? Yeah. I struggle to understand how these companies can be worth so much, mm. um, but it is purely down to data. You know, data is value now. Well, that, that's literally it. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Data is where the value is. It's more. It's worth more than actual coins. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it is insane. So mm. Snapchat, twenty-five billion dollars. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's do uh, Twitter. They've still not contacted me about Vine. They don't care, do they? I've offered to buy them. What Seriously. do they expect? How do they expect to make any progress? When they won't mm -hmm. listen Acting to... so slowly. Yeah. Seriously. Get on it. Somebody, somebody who watches this 
as a contact within Twitter and you can send that message across. Right, I challenge you now. Send it across. Tell him. I'll sort Twitter out. Bring me in as a consultant, just something. You're not doing any good now, are you? So you might as well. What's it? What have you got to lose? And a COO left last week as well. Did it? Yeah, well, you've got plenty of budget left then. Yeah, he bailed. Give me his wage, I'll sort it. I'm on. <laughs> then he was on a packet. <laughs> Speaking of Twitter, they've actually uh, they've actually released. Is it fully released now? The um, mute button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my notification yesterday. What you've been muted? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All my followers have muted me. Um, but now you can mute certain words from your notifications. So if you're getting spammed or if you're getting harassed or something yeah. like that, you can mute them so then no mentions will come through if they mention certain things. That, that's good because there's this idiot who keeps mentioning me called Kangaroo Joe, right? And he's pissing me off. Seriously? Yeah. Like, just sends me random stuff. I don't even know who it is. I bet it's one of you two. Kangaroo <laughs> Joe. Yeah. So, yeah, so that I didn't even know you could mute people. Mm, yeah, I only just come through. Or does it tell you when you've been muted, or do you no, just not know? No, so you, no, just, no. you keep randomly sending these messages saying, bloody rude bastard. Google, yeah. Did you see that this week, Chris? I didn't actually. You didn't? Oh. Well, let me explain to you then. Please do, whilst looking at the camera. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, so um, Google have, have basically promised to invest a billion pounds in the UK despite Brexit, um, showing a confidence in UK's ability. The, the amazing thing I find about this is that um, they're not investing in the markets and what you know all that shit that's going to happen. They're basically investing in the people of the UK because mm. they, they basically said, look, whatever happens, the talent's still there. The, the innovators, the buzz, the, you know, the innovation and creativity, smart thinking, the high quality people, you know, the UK, we, we're seriously good at that sector. You know, we, we don't give ourselves credit I enough, I don't think, in, in the, the talented workforce. Um, and that's why they're coming here. It's, it says something when they, they currently employ 4,000 staff, this billion pounds is going to, like, give them 3,000 more staff in the UK. So that's like... 75% more staff. It just shows the confidence in the, uh, the British industry. Aren't we the second biggest market to Google after America? I'm pretty sure that the UK is the second biggest market. Well, yeah, we're not going to stop spending money as business no. is advertising, are we? So it's no. regardless of Brexit. And consumers are still going to Google and yeah. everything like that. So, yeah, no, interest. I, I just, I think that's a, it's a good move. It's good that Google have come out and, and said that because it gives the markets a little bit of confidence. And uh, the guy from Barclays, the one of the main guys, whatever he is, at Barclays Bank basically said he doesn't see London losing its draw to big financial institutions, mm. you know, with or without Brexit. He said it's not going to die overnight. It's like everybody's still there. That's where the hub of people are. And again, it's going to that thing. It's the people. You know, the people have the power. We've got the brains. We've got the, the skills and the knowledge. You know, that's what these companies are invested in. Yeah, they want to invest where there's a strong economy and a strong pound against the euro, whatever it is, or good access into Europe. But reality is, is even if there isn't, the people are still here, so they're still going to have to come here. Mm. Makes you proud to be British. <laughs> Thanks for watching Friday Fizz, episode number 28. And don't forget to like, comment and share. And of course, put in your entry for bullshit bingo. Some guy who was in the IT department of the NHS. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it again in super slow motion.